Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, once again, my name is Jeff Hale. I'm an assistant golf professional here at River Landing. And today, I would like to talk about throwing the golf club. There's two instances I'm going to most likely throw a golf club. One is probably my favorite. It's out of anger. I'm frustrated. I've hit some bad shots, and it just feels good to throw the club. So that's something that I'll do often. Uh, the other instance sometimes I'll see is if it's cart path only, it's level three cart path only, and my buddy has gone out on the fairway and is not prepared properly and hasn't brought the right club, I'm typically struggling through my round, and so I'm just going to throw him his club uh, rather than walk it out there. So we'll start with the first. If it's out of anger, I prefer the tomahawk move. Some of you may be familiar with that. Basically, there's a lot of wrist hinge. I do see some people casting it a little early with the tomahawk move. It's not fishing. We are trying to maintain some lag in the right, <laughs> in the right hand. It's a lot of forearm, keeping the head down, uh, keeping your eye on the target. So I've hit a bad shot. I'm upset. I know I, for me, I'm going to go to the tomahawk, and it's just something down and in. <laughs> you know, you, you don't want the club to go too far. The last thing I want to do is have to walk a long ways when I'm already upset. Now, for the club going to my friend who's failed to recognize that it's cart path only and take the proper club, I'm going to go with more of a windmill move. This is something, you know, when I was younger, I was a great shot putter uh, and good with the discus throw. And I would typically, I like going with the windmill, which is something where I'm going to get turning for some momentum, uh, thinking about my, my footwork and balance and really feeling like I keep the right forearm pointed to the sky to get a nice throw with some distance and accuracy, uh, being that I'm looking, you know, to get it as close to him as possible. So he's somewhere over there. Hey, I need my six iron. I'm not walking out there. So I'm usually going to start a little left of the target, make that one turn, and keep that four iron up. You know, and depending on distance control, you know, a, a good turn and maintain your balance, and you can get out there 50, 60 yards. Uh, and then, you know, he can hit his shot. But anyways, two moves that work for me. Hope it's something that helps you out on the golf course.